Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of expanded notation and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a large number here on the screen. Let me go ahead and read it for you. 4,780,396 and, we use the word and when we come across the decimal, 147 thousandths. In 3rd and 4th grade, you probably learned how to use expanded notation with whole numbers. So we'll start with that. Start with your largest place value. We have a 4 and it's in the millions place. So you're going to multiply the digit 4 times its place value. So 4 times 1 million. And even if you're not sure what the name of that place value is, you can write it correctly by simply looking at how many digits are after the one you're looking at until you get to the decimal point. So I have a 4 and then I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 digits after it until I get to the decimal point, so I need to write a 1 with 6 zeros. I'm going to add to that the next place value, so I have a 7, and this is in the hundred thousands place, so I'm going to multiply that 7 times its place value, or 7 times 100,000. Again, if you're not sure how to write 100,000, just count how many digits are after that 7 until you get to the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you have a 1 with 5 zeros afterwards. You're going to move on down the line here. We have an 8. That's in the 10 thousandths place, so 8 times 10,000. Now you see we have a 0 here, and the 0 is in the thousandths place. When you come across a 0, you simply skip it. You don't write 0 times 1,000, because that would look a little bit silly. So we're going to add 3 times 100. And as we start getting toward the end, sometimes students, you will want to kind of cheat a little bit. You see that 9 in the tens place, and you know that's a 90. But don't write 90. Still follow the procedure here. 9 times its place value, 9 times 10. And especially you can do the same thing with that 6. It's not simply 6. It is 6 times its place value, or 6 times 1. Now that is something you already probably know how to do. But how do we add to that? because we still have a 1, a 4, and a 7 beyond the decimal point. So I'm going to go ahead and add these here. I'm going to go ahead and put my plus sign here, but I'm going to add it to the next row because there's two different ways that you can write your expanded notation when you're dealing with decimals here. So you see we have a 1, and that's in the tenths place. So we're going to write a 1, and this is just simply a continuation. I just ran out of room, times... If you want to write it as a decimal, you can write 0 0.1. Or if you want to write it as a fraction, you can write it as 1 tenth, 1 over 10. Either of those work when you're dealing with expanded notation. Then you move on to the next one. And so you have a 4, and that 4 is in the hundredths place. So you're going to write 4 times 0 0.01. You don't simply write 0 0.01. Always put the 0 in the 1's place when you're writing a decimal. Or you could do 4 times 1 over 100. And then finally, we have a 7 here, and that is in the thousandths place. So you can either write it as 7 times 0 0.001, or 7 times 1 over 1,000. So that is how you write a number in expanded notation all the way up through the thousandths place. Now it's time for you to practice. Take a look at the new number that I've written on the screen, 37,042,987 and 342 thousandths. Take a moment, get out a piece of paper and a pencil, pause the video and try to write this out in expanded notation. When you've got your answer, start the video back up. The first part of expanded notation is typically pretty easy because you've already learned it in third or fourth grade. So I wrote out the, the whole number part of it, realized that I skipped the zero in the hundred thousandths place. I went straight from the 7 in the millions place to the 4 in the 10 thousandths place. Remember, you do not include zeros. Now let's go to the decimal part. That's the tricky part. You're going to first deal with that 3, and that 3 is in the tenths place. So you can either write it as a decimal, 3 times 0 0.1, or as a fraction, 3 times 1 tenth. Now we're going to move to that 4. The 4 is in the hundredths place. So you can write it as a decimal, 4 times 0 0.01, or you could do 4 times 1 over 100. Finally, you have a 2. And 2 is in the thousandths place. So 0 0.001 as a decimal or 
2 times 1 over 1,000 as a fraction.